Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about squillows. Squillows are in the family of rodents. Rodents and squillows are small mammals that have elongated bodies, shorter legs, small ears lying close to the head, and fairy or bushy tails. Squillows have divided into two groups. One, those which are arboreal. By arboreal, I mean living on trees. And there are also those which are terrestrial, meaning living on land. And here I will talk about tree squillows. Tree squillows have soft uh, fur and curved and sharp claws. They have bushy tails. They have ever-growing incisors teeth which grow throughout their life like the elephant's tusk. But occasionally, those incisors teeth break and they grow again. They feed on their food through a process known as gnawing. They have no canines teeth, but instead they have a gap in between the incisors and the morus teeth known as diastema gap. They have molars teeth for chewing food. They are dianos, meaning they live and they are active during the day. Tree squillows are solitary, and sometimes they are pair, which is composed of a male and a female, and other times, uh, in this case, that pair happens only during the mating season. The other pair is of a mother and a baby. And in this case, when the baby matures up, they separate from their mother and lead a solitary life. Squillows live on hollow trees. That is, a tree squillow lives on hollow trees or snags. And they are omniferous, feeding on both uh, vegetation material as well as the meat. Their food mostly includes the nuts, the fruits, leaves, insects, birds, eggs, and flowers, and their food is diverse. They are very, very active, especially during the day. You see them running up and down, and when they are feeding, they hold their food with their front legs, and they chew it while uh, kind of sitting down. They are very interesting to watch, though sometimes um, it requires...